This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. As we continue with our interview with Ryan Shapiro, who the Justice Department calls the FBI's most prolific Freedom of Information Act requester. Well, if governments have always been notoriously secretive, new figures show Shapiro is fighting an especially uphill battle under President Obama. The Associated Repre uh, Press reports that last year, the Obama administration censored more government files than ever before under the U.S. Freedom of Information Act. It also cited more legal exceptions to justify withholding materials. Amidst intense public interest in surveillance programs, the government cited national security reasons for withholding information a record 8,496 times, more than double Obama's first year. The AP said it could not determine whether the denials amounted to an abuse of the exception or whether the public had simply asked for more documents about sensitive subjects. The NSA said it saw a 138 percent surge in records requests from people asking whether it had collected their phone or email records, which it generally refuses to confirm or deny, saying such requests pose an unacceptable risk because terrorists could check to see whether the U.S. had detected their activities. Your response, Ryan Shapiro. I'm in total agreement with the AP report. Though President Bush initiated a disastrous welter of anti-transparency initiatives, uh, President Obama has been, if anything, worse, including um, bringing more Espionage Act prosecutions of whistleblowers than all previous administrations combined, and, as as you just said, the, the new AP report showing invoking national security more than ever before to censor or deny FOIA requests. I wanted to turn to Leonard Downey, Jr., the former executive editor of The Washington Post, who spoke to us about the excessive secrecy detailed in his report titled The Obama Administration in the Press, which was commissioned by the Committee to Protect Journalists. First, there's too much that's classified. The president himself has said it repeatedly in the past that too much information is classified. It's not just information that might be harmful to national security or human life. It's just lots and lots, millions and millions and millions of documents and pieces of information that are classified that shouldn't be. Obviously, that preceded this administration, but it's not improved during this administration. The president promised to have the most transparent government in American history. He promised to reduce overclassification. He promised to make it easier to obtain government information through the Freedom of Information Act. So far, none of these promises have been kept. So part of the reason for why I agreed to do this report for the Committee to Protect Journalists is I would like to alert the president to the fact that this is one of the most—this is one of the first promises he made. He signed presidential directives about open government his first day in office. These are not being carried out by his administration. He still has time for his legacy to, to make good on these promises. That's Leonard Downey, formerly with the Washington—the former executive editor of The Washington Post. Your response to that, Ryan Shapiro? Absolutely. We are experiencing a crisis of secrecy. As, and as um, historian of science Peter Gallison has Harvard had shown, the amount, the, the universe of classified information now far exceeds the universe of non classified information. And yes, President Obama on day one um, promised to, to be a, a real advocate for FOIA. And it's just the opposite of what we've seen. I mean, it's just. Absolutely. How do you go about um, filing these FOIA requests, you known as the FOIA superhero? Um, well, I mean, filing itself is a fairly easy process. One can just put a request in an envelope and send it off, and, uh, or even email it. The problem is sending a request that's going to produce documents. The FBI is flatly allergic to the Freedom of Information Act, and it is fair to say it does everything within its power to avoid compliance with the Freedom of Information Act. So it's very easy to send a request saying, I will want all records pertaining to, to X, and one will get a letter saying, no, we couldn't find anything. And so exactly how the FBI gets away with this, because it is a violation of the Freedom of Information Act, how the FBI gets away with this um, has been unclear, because while the CIA and the NSA have statutorily exempted themselves, in large part from the Freedom of Information Act, the FBI hasn't been able to do that nearly as successfully. And so they've developed an unknown number, but, but dozens, of strategies for avoiding compliance with the so act. So when they say we can't detect any files, mm -hmm. but you know there are files, what do you do? Well, the letter doesn't say the, letter the, the denial letter doesn't say they don't have files. It says we were unable to locate them. And what it's really saying is we looked in one place for one type of record using one type of search, and we couldn't find anything. And what they're not telling you is that, in most cases, that's not the type and place and search methodology necessary to locate the responsive records. So how do you push further? 
Um, well, over the past five or six years, I've submitted hundreds of FOIA requests to the FBI. And each request, of course, was designed to produce responsive records, but it was also designed to see how the FBI was going to respond. And I would compare the responses, denials and successful letters, um, to see to try and map out what it was that the FBI was doing, the various FBI strategies for, for failing to comply. I would also read declarations submitted by the FBI in court about how their um, databases worked and how their information retrieval systems worked. And I would submit FOIA requests about my FOIA requests. And now the FBI is refusing uh, to process those. And I'm also suing the FBI uh, for their uh, failure to process my FOIA requests about my FOIA requests. What are privacy waivers? Um, FOIA has nine exemptions. There are nine legitimate reasons, according to the Freedom of Information Act, that an agency may withhold a record or a portion thereof. And, you know, part, part of those, one of those exemptions or several of those exemptions deal with privacy issues. And this is totally reasonable. It seems totally reasonable that I can't just request your FBI record without your consent. However, the FBI routinely abuses this privacy privilege and uh, or this, this privacy exemption to redact massive amounts of information um, that should not be redacted. And so one of the things I've done in order to map out the nature and evolution of the FBI's understanding and handling of the, of the animal rights movement has been to collect privacy waivers. So basically, um, letters from activists saying that I'm allowed to request their FBI files from roughly 300, 300 leading animal rights activists from the 1970s to today.